Welcome to Coach's Corner. Today's episode features Teacher Downing's perspective on integrating tech. This episode was filmed at the 2015 Common Sense Education Teacher Institute live at Twitter headquarters. As always, please subscribe, like, share, comment. I look forward to hearing from you. All right, here we are in Coach's Corner. Welcome. We're live from the Twitter headquarters. Twitter! Common, Common Sense Media, and they're putting on a teacher institute, and I'm here with our very special guest. Jeff Downing. Jeff Downing. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, I'm an elementary computer teacher at Millard in Fremont Unified, and I've been teaching for about six years. I have a passion for ed tech and um, developing 21st century skills in our students. So Jeff just gave a presentation here, and so I really like some of his suggestions on integrating tech. So here we are. Um, question number one. Okay. Um, thinking about a, a really about integrating technology. Um, what is your just first piece of advice you have um, when you're telling coaches or, or teachers um, how to integrate? Um, I would say start small. Try something that um, you know you can be successful with, and just try it. Uh, kind of go in with the mentality, even with your students, of saying, hey, we're going to test something out today. I don't know how it's going to work, but I want your feedback on it and just try. Yeah, so start small. Mm -hmm. Do something that's doable. That's one good right. piece of advice. So thank you for that. Um, the other thing that really kind of struck me from your presentation is your growth mindset. Okay. Um, so talk to me a little bit about you know how you kind of try to instill, besides starting small, how do you try to instill that growth mindset in people? Um, well, it's we kind of joke around. I was an athlete in college, and we joke around the growth mindset is really an athlete's mindset. Uh, and the fact that failure is where we learn the most from. And so a lot of times when we're talking about testing something new, it's okay to fail. It's the reflection after that. Uh, once we reflect on the item, then we test it again and see if we've learned from that experience. And there becomes joy after a while for doing that. You know, you, that's where the enjoyment in teaching comes, is trying something new, failing, learning from it, and then uh, applying it in another way down the road. Thank you. Because um, I think, you know, growth mindset, really, for me, when I notice with people that are, you know, integrating technology, it's not how techy they are. Right. It's, it's how willing they are. So right. I think that really, that really speaks to me as well. Mm -hmm. Um, the other thing I really liked is talking about you know the tools, right? We always right. we a lot of people focus on the tools, right? Mm -hmm. When it's not really about the tool, right? So how do you kind of instill that into people as as far as you know? Let's not focus on the tool. Let's focus on either the pedagogy or the learning. A little bit what you said about the hedgehog, right? So we were talking about focusing on your objective when you're looking at trying to figure out what ed tech tools to use. What is your objective? Um, what do you want the kids to learn at the end? And the tool that you use helps them get to that objective. If it's just a fun tool, don't do it. Uh, make sure that there's an objective to it and that the tool helps you reach that objective. And I think the one of the examples I can think of is um, we had some teachers that wanted to do some desktop publishing and they wanted to try this new program out, but the program was just fun. It was a cool thing that they could do on um, the iPad but it didn't teach the kids the skills that they needed to actually organize their thoughts and do some publishing. So we found another product, we used Lucid Press. Uh, we found that product would allow the kids to organize their thoughts, allow them to do some desktop publishing and design, and the end result was they met the, object, the learning objective as opposed to just testing a new program out because it was cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm as I said, I'm, I'm I think that's really important. You know, when, when we build technology, I'm really big on building it on top of strong pedagogy. Right. Because if we don't do that, then the building's going to crash. Right. Um, so, one more question for you. Okay. Uh, thinking about words, just words of wisdom, advice. I mean, I know you said start small in the beginning, right. but um, what are some other some some other just something that maybe struck you that that kind of motivates you with your integration? Of technology um, there were a couple things that I think of one obviously smart starting small is something that you can be successful with uh, the next thing that I think of when I'm trying about integrating technology in the classroom is um, doing something if you're going to demonstrate it for someone else show them ways that they can save their time mm -hmm. their sanity um, make them successful with it uh, because when they see the technology if the technology helps them then they're apt to use it. If it's providing a headache for them, then they're not going to use it. 
So it's more of kind of looking at, does the technology save me time? Does it make my life better? Um, are the kids successful with it because they're enjoying it? Great. Uh, so <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate uh, your time. Thanks. And so always that's end with a high five. Right. We're excited to be on Ben's show. And let's kind of turn around oh, here yes, the camera we're here. because Look at this. here, Live. Twitter's lunch. Twitter's lunch. Woohoo! All right. All right. Thanks. <laughs>